Okay, I already update. Look at this. High visual quality, high frame rate. Now watch this. Okay guys, I'm back in QQ Speed Mobile. So QQ Speed Mobile has a new update. Uh, so far, there's still a few things missing in this update. So I'm not doing any videos on that yet. So the first thing I wanna show here is the new tutorials that have been added in the uh, in here. So they change it into like that now. So the green one is the easy one. The blue one is the medium, purple is the advanced, and the yellow one is the expert professional. So the ones that have ticked them is the tutorials that we know already, but there's nine more added. So we're gonna see through all of this. Maybe some I didn't do here, so I have to check. Maybe it's not nine. And also item mode, they added four more for item mode. Okay, four or five. Alright, anyway, so we start from the top. The most basic thing. Is it just me or is there no voices? So the new tutorials doesn't have uh, voices or is it maybe because it's the most basic thing alright let me let me see what this is eh? I guess this is the same oh yeah okay so these two are the most basic thing that you learn when you start when you first start the uh, speed drifters or QQ speed mobile so this is mini boost and this is drift. That's it lah. Okay. But it's so detailed eh. What it says here. Okay. So that is mini boost tutorial. Just how do you get the mini boost. Okay. This is tutorial to drift. Basically once you drift and get a mini boost that drift is correct i think yeah okay that's the most basic thing then introduce double boost and wheelie boost which we have i've already done before this one has three different types now it seems that there's three different types of tutorial all right this is from drift becomes Let's see what this is. Hey, this is Eleven City. Oh, they changed the map. Okay. So the the tutorial is just a different map. Okay, now I understand what this is. Okay, it's not a normal drift, but it's an. It's a uh, what? Hold on. Eh? What was the drift? What did I do just now? Hold on. Eh? Okay, that was correct. Okay, so it's a, a U-turn drift. Right? Not, not say U-turn, but you are re changing it back. Yeah, It's like when you turn like this and then you, you cancel it back. That is the technique. 
So te- the technique of uh, the, like drifting to the right, for example, you drift to the right, but then you turn left. I think this is called what is this drift called? You are adjusting it back, like it's not just right only, but right and then you press left. But I think I've covered this before. <laughs> I just don't know the name. Okay, so that's how you unlock the third one. So if you finish the first one, you can go to the second one, then the third one. So the third one is still the same thing, only a different map, I assume. Scenic Hills, okay. So yeah, it's just the tutorial on a different map, that's it. So right and then you turn the other way. Left and then I press right. Uh, like that, uh. While drifting left and then you right. I'm I'm sure I did say what this technique is called, but I didn't I don't remember what is what I like. Okay, so that's for this uh, technique here. And uh, this one is just nitro. Okay, this one doesn't have the sound either. So I'm assuming all the new tutorials doesn't have the voices. Maybe even prepare yet? Maybe. Okay, this is like a tutorial before you learn WCW or whatever else. So this is the basic thing first. So like boost and nitro doesn't work. So it has to be together with the drift. Okay, and with the boost. So if I do CW, does it count? Yeah, it counts. Okay. So this is just combining a boost and nitro together to do WCW or CW. So this one is just by tapping instead of sliding your finger to nitro and boost. You can just tap nitro and boost just like that instead of sliding like that. <laughs> okay. And uh, the last easy beginner tutorial is WCW. And then I think this is uh, over. Wait, I'm not sure what this is. But there's a second tutorial. I mean second map. Let's see what this is. Love City. Oh, this is a uh, snap boost. Okay, yeah, this is snap boost. Yeah, snap boost. So they are making tutorials in these maps just to show that you you always do snap boost here. Okay. That's a nice uh, <laughs> addition to the tutorials. It'd be great if uh, speed drifters can follow this right now. <laughs> okay, WCW, nothing new. CWW, nothing new. But there's so much detail now here. Okay, all these uh, different techniques, but we already we already know what they, they are. This one though, there's a second second map. Let's see what map this is. Um. Scenic Hills. Oh, I think this is a uh, Bambus. I assume. Yes, yeah, Bambus. Okay, nice. You hit the wall and then you Bambus. Okay, this is where you can use Bambus. That's the tutorial uh, saying. It's already open now. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's Bambus second map. Uh. Medium now. See, this is like tutorial. This is the medium uh, tutorial. Okay, this is new. What is this? So yeah, all the new new tutorials have no voices for now. Okay, yeah, it is a beast thing, or like an L. You can see. This is something new for me to. So let's see what I can do. Okay, yeah. It's like uh, you overdrift, but then you quick turn together. Okay, that's a new thing for me. Yeah. Okay. It's a faster way than just an overdrift, lah. Uh. Overdrift plus quick turn. That's it. That's what this technique is. Okay, where can we use this? Let's see. This is Cologne Cathedral.
Oh, because the map is like that, okay. Let's try again. This part I can't miss. All right. It's just a tutorial to show you that you can quick turn while overdrifting. And what's the last one? Let's see. Atlantis. Oh, this part. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. Because it's a square thing. But most people don't do this. Most people do like uh, for four turnings you do a triangle drift. Okay. Okay, uh what else? If I'm not mistaken this is Okay, we're going to the purple tutorials now. The more advanced tutorials. Okay, let's see what this is. This is Winter Gorge. Oh, this is Slight Drift. Okay. Yeah, Slight Drift. Yeah, this map is a lot of Slight Drift with parts. Okay. Sometimes the timing is what makes it difficult. Okay. So that's the the level two tutorial of slide drift. <laughs> All right. Um, now let's see what this is. This is totally new. It's a skill from Double Boost. Huh? I didn't, I didn't understand that. Wait, 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 uh. Thirty-five degree, fifty degree. Um. Okay. It's like a mini double boost. I don't know what to call this. I think I know how to do it. Eh? Let me try. Okay, wait. Eh? So it turn like that? No. Okay, this is a new thing. Okay, there we go. I got it. Somehow, I don't know what I did. But it's drift boost boost. Okay, so it's like instant double boost. It's like a quick double boost after your drift. Instead of doing it slow, this is faster. Okay. Okay, I understand. The the moment you your mini boost light up, you already can do a double boost. Eh, that one didn't come. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, this one's still the same. This one's still the same. Now, this this is totally... Totally new. Eh? No, no, this is double brake, right? This is a uh, heavy brake. Or oh, nitro stopper. I think I did that in chat, but not here. <laughs> but I know what this is, yeah. Hold on, huh? Yeah. Basically, nitro stopper. But it only counts if you are still in nitro mode. So if I do here, 
and then okay that didn't work yeah okay basic nitro stopper lah. so what's the second uh, level for this nitro stopper Velocity. Okay, that makes sense. But only if you are having a very fast car. If a slow car, yeah, you won't get to use your nitro stopper. Okay. I'm always doing nitro stopper but it doesn't count if the nitro is already over Okay that count I messed up a bit there Okay but yeah I understand What is this option here? Okay anyway what did, what is this now? From uh, what, what is this I forgot I have a feeling this is continuous nitro Oh, but it is not, it's not. What is this? You are on a high speed uh, area and you do a quick drift. And, and then what? Left and drift. Okay, that's totally new. I don't know what that, is, that was. Yeah, but it's quick drift. It's basically quick drift to get a uh, faster nitro. Yeah, 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 it's just quick drift. But quick drift on the fast, uh, on the fast, fast speed lane and that. I thought it was uh, continuous. No, no, no. Okay, this is just quick drift. This is a quick drift tutorial. Okay, and quick drift is actually a professional uh, technique. Eh? Not an easy, not a, a, not a beginner technique or advanced technique. Sorry, the yellow ones are professional. Okay, so I think that's it. The last two is actually WCW and catapult. So that one I actually already covered. So that's all for speed mode. So now there's twenty three techniques of for speed mode. Now let's see what item does. Uh, all we know last time is just tornado and banana. So what is this? But I have a feeling we already know all this. They just didn't add it into the tutorial. Okay, let's watch this. Okay,那么我们再看一遍。这是一段时间，抵挡一次攻击。天使生效时间内，抵挡的攻击越多，收益越大哦。当队友受到攻击时，特别是闪电这样的群体伤害，使用天使守护他们吧。此时，敌方使
，飞碟被击毁，成功防御对方飞碟道具。OK。Now what is this? This might be techniques that we all, uh, some of us might not know. 空中击落技巧是指当敌方玩家处于腾空状态时，使用导弹、酷比、飞碟等道具命中对方。由于对方腾空，所以击落空中敌人往往能使攻击类道具的收益最大化。下面我们来看具体演示，预判敌方玩家腾空的时间，提前使用导弹道具，敌方玩家被命中，出现空中击落线点。Why was there music in the tutorial? <laughs> I have to quickly turn off the volume. Okay, so yeah, uh, I understand what this technique is. It's basically attacking your opponent while your opponent's on the air. That's that's uh, that's just like a uh, a tip lah to. To always uh, to slow down your opponent even more is to rocket or use UFO or whatever while the opponent's on the air. Okay, that's number one. What is this now? I think I know what this is. 道具双吃技巧是指利用各种平跑技巧，如段位漂移、侧身漂移、停滞漂移等，通过在较短时间内触碰同一排道具线中的两个相邻道具箱，从而达到短时间内获取两个道具的巨大收益。实战中，道具双吃的技巧有很多，我们一起来了解一下吧。第一种，平跑双吃，这是最常规也是最普通的双吃方式，一般用于相对赛车行进路线有一定倾斜的道具线。下面一起来看看具体演示，车手通过提前调整车头方向来达到陆续吃两个道具箱的效果。第二种，侧身漂移道具双吃，顾名思义。即利用侧身漂移技巧来实现道具双吃。由于这种技巧带来的减速效果较小，一般用于直线路段的道具线、道具箱之间间隔较近的情况。下面一起来看看具体演示。第三种，段位漂移道具双吃。这种技巧一般用于双吃靠近弯道处的道具箱，或者需要调整车头方向的情况。下面一起来看看具体演示。实战中能够实现道具双吃的方式还有很多，如甩尾双吃，这里就不一一演示了。双吃是一个能极大程度上帮助队伍获胜的方式，飞车手们快去试试吧。Alright, I, I by looking at the video, I know what it's trying to suggest to say. So this tutorial is how to get two items at once. Okay, so there's three techniques. One is to angle uh, your car to able to be able to get two items. The second technique is to slide drift to get two items, and the third one is to drift to get two items. So that's it. Uh. It's just a tutorial how to get two items at once, and there's three ways to do it. All right, what's this last one? There is no voices here. Um, nah. explosion. So this is basically explosion uh, tutorial on how to defend from the explosion. Oh wait. Ah, okay, I understand. So this tutorial shows that the explosion will explode usually only on the ground. You it won't explode on the air. So if you are using explosion while on the air, you can cause the explosion to appear at the ground or below you. So you can slow your slow down your opponents. Just uh, just like that. When it's exploding. You are already on the air. Yeah, okay. All right. So that's the last. I I thought it was gonna show up a nitro stop. Uh, the explosion plus nitro stop thing. No, <laughs> that's not a tutorial here. So yeah, that is all the tutorials that I can show. Uh, all the tutorials that 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 have been added, and what it looks like right here now. There's twenty three techniques now here. 
for now that's it for this video it's already quite long so hope you guys uh, got some new information or something something new you learn maybe so and yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys next time